If you have not yet heard the story of Michael Corey Jenkins, please buckle up. On January 24th, after receiving a tip about drug activities, six Rankin County, Mississippi Sheriff's deputies burst through his door without a warrant. They proceeded to handcuff and then beat Jenkins and Eddie Parker, who was also there. They spent 90 minutes deploying their stun guns over and over into these two men's bodies. The specs from the stun gun show that they were deployed over 20 to 30 times in an hour period. Then the six deputies found a marital aid and attempted to SA both Jenkins and Parker, first inserting it into their mouth, and then Jenkins had to defecate himself to prevent any further actions. After their failed SA, they forced the two men to lie down on their back and they began to waterboard them. Waterboard them? with beer and milk they had found from the fridge. Then they grabbed eggs from the refrigerator and started throwing them not only at the men but all around the home. And in order to cover up the evidence of this, they made the men strip down naked and shower together. And accusing them of, quote, racial violations like dating white women. Then at 11.40, approximately two hours after they arrived on the scene, Deputy Hunter Elward took out his pew pew and placed it in Jenkins' mouth, firing. And while the department hasn't outright said that it was Elward, he was the one in the report who claimed that uh, Jenkins had pulled a pew pew on him. And usually the one claiming to have seen it is the one who fired. Jenkins also identified him after seeing a picture of him online. And although many of you have seen this picture, this is what Michael Jenkins looked like when he got to the hospital. He suffered from a lacerated tongue as well as a shattered jaw. He now suffers permanent nerve damage on that side of his face. They let him crawl around for 20 minutes before they finally called EMS. And then they charged Jenkins with aggravated assault. Which of course were later dropped. Oh, and did I mention that all six body cams were conveniently turned off? The FBI have started an investigation into this and Jenkins has retained a lawyer and is suing the department.